Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're noticing your Outlook file has reached its maximum size. So if you are having issues with your mailbox and it's not allowing you to actually expand the size of it, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Just want to put a little information out there right away. So if you're using an older version of Outlook, such as 2007 and earlier, the size limit I believe is 20 gigabytes and if you're using anything newer so 2010, 2013, 2016 or 2019 should be 50 gigabytes so if you want to increase the size from that I'm going to show you guys how to do it so we're going to jump right into it and start by opening up the start menu type in regedit so R-E-G-E-D-I-T best match to come back to registry editor you want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator if you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I highly suggest that you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily recover it. So in order to do that, just left click on the file tab up in the top left. Select export. For file name, I would usually suggest naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be selected to all, and then save it to a convenient location on your computer or external media source. And if you ever need to import it back in, just left click on the File tab and then select Import. So pretty straightforward process, and just navigate over to the registry file. So once you're done with that, now you are ready to begin, and we're going to start by expanding the HKEY Current User folder. So we're going to go ahead and double click on that. Do the same thing now for the Software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. Now you want to go down to Office, so double click on the Office folder. Now there should be a number under here, so you can see the path at the top of the registry editor screen if you need to pause the video just to get up to this point. But this is the path that we're currently at, so 16. If you see that number in here, that means that we're actually running the 2016 version of Outlook. You might have multiple numbers in here, but just to quickly put it out there, if you see 11, that means it's Outlook 2003. 12 means Outlook 2007. 14 means Outlook 2010. Number 15 means Outlook 2013. Number 16 means Outlook 2016. And I presume, I'm not 100% sure on this, but Outlook 2019 would more than likely, if you're following along with that pattern, should be 17. So I mean, that just makes the most amount of sense to me. So just keep that in mind. Once you have whatever version of Outlook you're looking to expand here, you want to go ahead and just click the little drop down arrow next to it. And now underneath that, you're looking for something that says Outlook. So if you don't see an Outlook folder under here, you want to just right click on this number. So again, the number, version, number of Outlook here. So I'm going to right click on this folder. I'm going to select New, and then I'm going to select Key. We're going to call this Key Outlook. And then you want to hit enter. And now if you had Outlook already created and you expanded it, there should be something that says PST underneath of it. Obviously, since we had to create this folder, there is no such folder underneath it. So now we're going to have to go right click on the Outlook folder, select new, and then select key. I'm just going to type in PST here and then hit enter. Please keep in mind if you already have these folders, so if you already have the 16 folder, the Outlook folder, and this PST folder, you do not have to create them again. It will probably tell you that the folder already exists, so it won't even let you create it. Don't overwrite the existing key in there if there isn't one already made. So once you're done with that, now on the right side, you want to right click in a blank area. There's two D Word 32 bit values we want to create, so right click in a blank area, select new, and then select D Word 32 bit value. Now, the first thing we're going to type in is max, and this is very important. You want to type this in exactly as it appears on my screen, so max large file size, and I'm going to have this on the screen as well, so it should be in big letters. So, again, max large file size, no spaces in between any of this stuff. Hit enter on your keyboard. And now that you've done that, now you want to create another D word value, so right click in a blank area again, select new, select D word 32 bit value, type in warm, W A R N, so warn, large file size, so again W A R N, large file size, hit enter on your keyboard now. Now that you have done that, you want to go open up the max large file size. D word value first, so go ahead and just double click on that.
So now you want to set the base to decimal. So select decimal here. And now value data is going to be in megabytes. So whatever size you want it to be. So let's say if you're running any newer version of Outlook, it should automatically be 50 gigabyte max. So I'm going to open up a calculator here on my computer just so you can visualize it. So since it's, oh, don't want to open that up. We want to open up a calculator here. So we want to multiply however many gigabytes we're looking to have our max inbox size be, multiply it by 1024. So let's say instead of a 50 gigabyte inbox, let's say we want to make it 100. So just keep it in mind though that you got to make sure you have the space on your hard drive. I mean, you don't want to fill it up too quickly, but let's just say you have the space on your hard drive. You want it to be 100 gigabytes now. You're going to multiply 100 times 1024. So it comes up with 102,400 megabytes. So for value data, we're going to just go ahead and type that in. So basically, we're just doubling the size of our inbox here. But if you want to change anything in between or more or less, I mean, that's fine. You do whatever you want. Just make sure decimal is selected here and then select OK. Now that you've done that, you want to go open up the worn large file size, so you can double click on that. So basically this should be about 95% or whatever the max large file size is. So this is going to be the warning you're going to get if you are getting close to your maximum file size. So I still have my calculator open here. So again, this is the max file size. So I'm going to just multiply it by 0.95 or 95%. So it comes up with 97,280 megabytes. And again, this is based on a 100 gigabyte inbox size. It will be different if you want to change your own custom size, but I'm just going to do one for the purpose of this video here. So again, select decimal, and then we're going to type in 97,280, and then select OK. If you want to set your worn large file size to be something smaller than that, that's fine. You could do 90% if you want. It doesn't really matter too much to me. And once you're done with that, you should be good to go. So you want to minimize out of the registry, close out of it, I should say. Restart your computer, and hopefully that should be about it. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.